Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another video. Today we are going to talk about the refined bootloader. Many of you asked me about making a small video about the refined bootloader, how you can install it, especially on Arch, and how you can uh, configure it, so with the themes and icons. And this is what we are going to do in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So many of you guys ask me about the refined bootloader. Normally I don't do so many videos about bootloaders because it's something I really don't care that much about. I just need a bootloader which works, whether it's systemd boot or grub or refined. But I got a lot of requests about the refined bootloader, so I decided to make this small video. So the refined bootloader is a bootloader which is for UEFI machines, so it's not going to work on legacy machines. And it's fairly simple to install and to manage, actually. Now, many distributions include actually the grab bootloader, mostly for compatibility reasons. But if you have a UEFI machine and you are building something like Arch, for example, like in this case, Refined is definitely a good option. Because it boots up not only Linux, but it boots up also other operating systems and it detects them normally without any problem. Now, here, for example, I am on a virtual machine and I am installing Arch. As you know, I have already done tons of installations of Arch on the channel. So if you want to follow one through, go ahead and check the channel for one monthly installation installation of Arch. Now I am at the point where I installed the system and I just need to install the bootloader. So I'm going to install Refine here and then we are going to also configure it and also install some themes and icons. Now let's go ahead and install Refine here on Arch. So I'm going to type in pacman-s and the package is Refine very simply and then hit enter. Now we proceed with the installation. It's going to take a moment to install and this is now done. So it's very simple actually to install Refined. Usually it's just going to work with one command, which is refined-install. So once we execute this command, Refined is going to install itself into the boot directory. So let's hit enter here. And you can see they're copying sample configuration file as refine.conf. Edit this file to configure Refined. So that's what we are going to do. Now let's check here with lsblk our mount points. So you can see, for example, that my VDA1 partition is mounted under slash boot. That's my EFI partition. Remember, Refined is for UFI machines only. So my EFI partition is actually VDA1, which is mounted on slash boot. So let's go in there, cd slash boot, and type in ls-l. And we can see what we have in here. So you can see we have there in the first place, we have the EFI directory. We know it's a directory because on the left side, you can see the D that stands for directory. And three lines down, you can see there is a refined underscore linux.conf. We're going to configure this in a second, but first let's go into the EFI partition. So CD EFI. And let me clean up the terminal again. And again, ls-l. And we have here the refined directory and also the tools directory. So let's go into the refined directory, which was just created when we installed the refined. So cd refined, again, ls-l. And here you can see we have a couple of things. So we have the refined EFI. That's what is going to be used to boot the machine. We have an icons directory, which is storing most of icons for most major distributions. And we have also the refine.conf file. Now let's go ahead and change the refine.com file because we need to configure it since we are here on Arch Linux. So let me type in here Vim. I'm using Vim here, but you can use any editor of your choice that you have installed. And then refined.conf. So here I'm going to search with the forward slash for Arch Linux. And you can see it pops up right there. Now you can see here we have some options for Arch. So the first one is the icon. So the icon is going to actually pick up the icon here from the icons directory, which is in the refine directory, which was just created when we installed the refined. And there is in there an OS underscore Arch PNG, which is basically the logo of Arch Linux. So the icon should be picked up there automatically when we boot the machine. Although it's not really true because we need to undertake another step before that happens. But I'm going to show you this in a moment. The thing what we need to change here is the options because the root partition here, it's not this UUID. I'm going to change this slightly. You can also replace this with the UUID of your partition 
but to make it easier here in my case i'm going to actually replace this root partition uuid with simply slash dev slash vda2 that's a very simple machine i have here vda2 is my root partition and that's all i have to do here so i can now save the file and exit vim with colon x and I'm going to go back because I need to work also on the refined Linux configuration file. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to type in cd dot dot slash dot dot ls dash l again. And you can see that we have the refined underscore Linux dot com. So I'm going to edit this with vim and then refined underscore Linux dot com. And you can see we have a couple of entries here. And the first two are actually for the Arch ISO, for the ISO that I am booted up with. So I don't need actually these two. I just need a third option because that's my root partition. So I'm going to delete the first two lines here. And now I can save these files with colon X again. And so the configuration is now done. So that means if we reboot the machine now, we should be seeing the refined bootloader but we won't be seeing the arch icon yet. And that's because to do that, we have a couple of options. Now, the easiest one is actually to give a label to the EFI partition, because if the EFI partition has a label corresponding to the distribution you're using, then Refined is gonna pick up the name of the distribution and display the appropriate icon in the bootloader. So let's go back to the home directory here for root. Now let me type in again, lsblk. Now you can see VDA1 here is my EFI directory. So how do we actually apply a label for this partition? Because this is actually a EFI partition and it's formatted with a FAT32 file system. So Tune2FS will not work because that works only with EXT file systems. So to give a label to the FAT partition, we can type in, in the terminal FAT label and then the partition path, which is slash dev slash VDA1 in my case, and then the label you want to give. Now, I recommend you to do this in capital letters because if you don't, you're going to get an error saying that if it's not capital letters, you might have problems in the future when you're updating. So I'm going to put the label here in capital letters and I'm just going to call it Arch because this is the name of my distribution and then hit enter. So this is now done for step one. So what we can do here, we can exit because I'm still installing Arch. So I go back to the ISO and unmount my root ISO here, slash MNT, and type in now reboot. Now, if everything went well, we should be seeing here the refined bootloader with the Arch icon. So let's see what happens. There you go. We have here refined with the Arch icon, which was picked up automatically because we relabeled the EFI partition. Now, under here, we have several icons. We can reboot into the EFI internal shell. We can also find information about refine here. We can also manage the hidden tags. We can shut down the computer. We can reboot it, or we can reboot it also in the computer setup utility. You can see also under the text there, use arrow keys to move the cursors, enter to boot, insert tab or F2 for more options, escape or backspace to refresh. But for now, I'm going to actually boot the machine again because I want to show you how, so how you can theme refined. Now, this is the standard theme. It's fine. You know, you won't see the bootloader that much. But if you really care about customization for refined, I'm going to show you how you can do this. So I'm going to boot up my machine here, which is going to take a second. And I'm going to log in with my username and my password. And I'm going to set up the fonts here so that you can see better and hit enter. And so there are several themes that we can install for Refine. I will leave a link in the video description below to our website, which is listing a lot of themes, which are, of course, community themes that you can install to customize Refine. Now, the one I'm going to use in this video, it's called Minimalistic Refine Theme. It's one of the themes I like the most because, as it says in the name, it's very minimalistic and it comes also with minimalistic icons. Now, the icons are going to pick up automatically, so we won't have to do anything. I'm going to leave also the link to this theme in the video description below for you to clone as a git repository now in order to install themes in refined we need to go into the refined directory so let's go in there by typing in cd and then slash boot and then slash efi and then refined and then hit enter so if i type in ls l again you can see we have there our files and directories we had before when we checked this directory before now, the first step here is to create one directory called themes. So let's do this. We need to use sudo here because we are regular users. So sudo mkdir and then themes and then hit enter. Now we need to authenticate, of course, 
and now the directory if i type in ls-l it's now there so we need to move in there so let's type in cd and then themes so let me clean up the terminal here and let's install now the repository. So I will leave the link of the repository in the video description below, of course, but I already copied it here. So you can install it with this command, git clone. If you don't have git installed, you can install it with pacman-s git and then the repository itself. And we forget, of course, here to run it as a sudo because we need to do this as we are in the boot directory and then we can hit enter. Now the repository is now cloned. That means the team should be now there. If I type in ls-l, you can see we have refined-minimal. This is our theme there. And if we go in there, you will see we have also a lot of stuff in here, like for example, also the icons that this theme comes with. Now to enable the theme, we need to actually edit the refine.conf file. So let me go back here, a couple of directories. Now I'm not anymore sure. It should be in the refine directory, so ls-l. You can see refine.conf is there. So let's edit this with the sudo vim and then refine.conf and what you need to do here you need to go down at the end of the file i'm hitting here page down on my keyboard and include a new line in the configuration file which reads include and then themes this is the themes directory and then refined dash minimal slash theme dot conf so this way we are telling Refine basically we want to load this theme when we boot the machine. So let's see what happens. Let's save this file and exit Vim with colon X and let's reboot our machine directly. And if everything went well, we should be seeing the theme and the icon accordingly. And there you go. We have here the arch icon and the minimal theme available. Now, I don't have any other OSs here, but if you are dual booting, for example, with Windows or with another distribution, you should have the icons here accordingly. Now, this is one of the themes, as I said before, that you can use. There are a lot of themes, as I said also before. I will leave the link to it in the video description below. But basically, here you have only two options. As I said, it's a minimalistic theme. So you just boot the machine here or shut it down. So I'm going to boot the machine again. And you can see Refined is booting my machine just fine. So this is a quick video on how you can install and configure quickly the Refined bootloader. I hope it was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. So there we go guys, this is how you can install in Arch the Refined Bootloader and how you can customize it. I hope this video was helpful for you and if you have any tips or tricks about the Refined Bootloader, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you very soon in the next one.